Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Uh, dear fellows, uh, today I'm going to teach you how to make sidewise rows because uh, in the previous videos I have uh, teach you how to make top euros. This is the top euros where you can see the center word easily. But in the sidewise rows like this, here are the few samples of the side rows. This one and this one. This is the side view rows. These roses are not. Uh, uh, the bird is not visible uh, from the front yeah, it's it's it's, uh, it's center part visible from the side you can easily see that this row seems to be in the in uh, leaning towards uh, uh, towards any direction but this row seems to be uh, looking uh, on the top side so the uh, side by rows and the top side rows are a bit different from each other and there is another third type of row, rows which is uh, back side rows uh, in the next video I will teach you how to make that one also so uh, I am going to, to make big sized uh, sidewise rows uh, to start this uh, video uh, first of all I will teach you how to pick the petals first uh, I have prepared my paste check the consistency of paste it's a uh, little bit uh, hard, uh, at harder side uh, whenever you add the paste from one side, you on the other side your paste uh, coming out very easily without sticking to the uh, to the knife like this. First, uh, first of all, I this knife which I am going to use is broader knife. If you don't have this knife, you can also uh, make this petal with the knife having uh, curved uh, tip. There are two types of knives which I'm going to tell you. These are this knife is uh, a bit round from its tip, and this one is a bit sharp. So uh, to make the broader knife, I will going to use the round tip knife. If you don't have this broader palette knife, so I'm using medium size of knife keep on ad adding the paste from one side either right or the left it depends on the the petal which you are going to make so this is how the petal is being prepared like this now clean the base with a wet cloth put the petal on the base clean the knife with the wet cloth and pick that petal like this whenever you, the petal is big when while picking it can fall from the other side you can give it a support with your hand this is the area where uh, i'm going to make the flower looking uh, this at this direction whenever uh, you make the flower uh, looking at forward direction you need to make that flower from its back side not from the front front side I'll uh, teach you how to do this I'm adding the glue over here where my flower is going to make like this you can roughly estimate the area by gluing that area or you can even use pencil to mark it to make this uh, sideways flower the my direction of my hand will be at this direction at this area so I just put the first petal here like this and you can easily see the placing of the petal this is the first petal this is the second petal in the middle and the third one Whenever you uh, try to make sidewise flower, you have to sit at the place where the stem of the flower start. You cannot make the flower from uh, from the top of the top side. You have to make the flower from the back side or where the stem of the flower starts. 
to make the right and left side of the flower i just use the paste uh, i just pick the paste uh, from one side and just press it over here like this and to make the right side of petal this should be the right side of the petal where the extended part is on the right of the knife like this so you can see my base five petals have been placed now i'm going to make the second layer the second layer uh, you can either change the color of the paste because you know that the center part of the flower is always dark so you can add more color at this stage or in the next layer now i'm going to make the second layer for this i will start adding petals either from the middle or from the side i added another petal on the in between and uh, on the ab above side in between two petals which have already been placed in the previous layer now i take the uh, petal i take out the petal from the right side of the knife just to make the right side of the petal now place it and press it now moving towards the center add another one now the right side at the right side now i'm going to make the middle part to make the uh, middle part we will use full petal and press it press it hardly so you can get uh, a complete petal in the middle while moving towards the middle middle part uh, try to use smaller knife and darker shade of petal now i'm going to add this petal in the right side use the knife to pull the petal like this now at it at this area uh, my bird will uh, going to add so i will add little bit more color to make it a little darker shade now watch carefully how to make the bird this is the petal which i i have uh, lifted you can use right or left any side just place it in the middle pull your knife and keep it as it is in the middle part now lift a little bit bigger petal as you can see on my knife it's been one big petal place it in the back of this last lift and just curve this petal inward so you can get a fine cone and the tip over here you can see it has been turned into the shape of the bird now you can see you have 1 2 3 4 petals on your left side and 1 2 3 4 petals on it on the right side and a bird in the middle now use one complete ready petal not too big size like this which have uh, which i already picked on the tile or on the base and place it on the bird just pull it downward so it can cover the bud you can also use wet brush or wet knife
like this uh, whenever you pick up the pattern you can see there is a one front side which is smooth and back side which is little bit crumbly sometimes we use this crumbly part as a front but in this rose i'm going to use this uh, smooth part as a front so i will add i have to overlap this petal on the birds uh, with, so i will leave this petal and place this petal over here and curve it inside just to give a overlap petal look like this now i will add i will leave this petal and add another petal in the middle of these two because uh, i did the same in this uh, at the right side of uh, this uh, rose i will repeat the same procedure from the left side before adding the petal at the place where you want to add this like i'm with uh, this is the place where i want to add this uh, judge the uh, area first and try to make the petal according to that area because at this area my petal my smooth side has to be in the uh, has to be visible so put the knife over here carefully pull it out and curve it like this so you can get this smooth part visible not the crumbly part so you you should need to uh, judge that uh, at uh, at where the petal has to be placed and at which part of the knife you need to lift the petal for example i lift the petal from the right side of the knife so i get this ex extended part on the left side of uh, my knife i cannot put this uh, uh, petal like this because i will get the crumbly part so i will place this petal over here in between because these petals al already have also have some purpose which have, uh, have been made earlier so just add the petal over here so you can get smooth part at this side you can see the size of the petal is increasing while I'm uh, going uh, outward and the color can also be get lighter if you want to make it light color and this is the place where i want to add another petal just pull the knife carefully so you can get the side petal. you can straighten the petal by using wet brush if you want to now I will make a place here for the next petal and here. Like this. Now this is the area where I will add another petal. So just to cover it. The direction of the petal must be inside. Outward to inward. Now I will add next petal over here. Now petal get broke from here but there is no need to worry I will cover it with the next petal it's been very tough to add this petal from uh, from this direction because I am sitting uh, where, uh, at the direction where the uh, stem of the petal uh, of the rose starts so I will switch my place and go to that direct in the front side at the front side either you can rotate the base but the base is very big which is which is unable to move so I will uh, shift myself at this at this side to add the next petal like this this petal would be placed over here just find a place where you can add a petal 
like this. And try to attach the starting point of it. Now this is the next button. Now I will add one complete petal over here and press the lower part, not the top of the petal. This is the extreme standing petal which I have added here. Now I will add two to three petals of it here just to finish my rows. Now this is the next petal. can give it a curl like this Here is the next metal you can see there is a gap between uh, these two areas so uh, I will add one and two petals over here. I think two petals would be enough. Let's see. I will add one petal over here. Make sure that the smooth uh, side of the petal uh, has to be more visible than the rough side sometimes we use the back side or the rough back uh, uh, rough side of the petal as well but in rows we try to um, make petals as smooth as possible so we use smoother uh, side which is front side visible This is the front side, you can see it's a smoother side. If this petal is curved outside, you know, curved outside, I will place it over here. But if this petal uh, will curve inside, so I will turn it and try to visible that part which is smoother. I think it's done. You can also give this red color to the edges of the leaves. Here is the final look and the final petal of my sidewise rose. If you use bigger knife that than which I am using right now, you will get of course bigger sidewise rose. Let me show you the size of the rose. Uh, it's not very big, but it's. Uh, let me show you the bigger rose which I have already made. This is the rose which I have just made and this is the rose which I have made earlier. These two are the sidewise rose. We can compare it uh, with each other. This is a um, little bit smaller than, than the previous one. I hope you will enjoy my video. You can see the closer look, look of it. This is the um, top side and the back side.